Hi there, Duncan from Sex5 here. I'm going to show you possibly my newest favorite plugin and tool for documenting systems and processes that I might be giving as a customer support document or using internally for our employees. And it's called Tango. Now, uh, I came across this because uh, I was in a forum in one of uh, my professional groups and someone said, look, check out Tango. It is pretty awesome. Uh, it's really easy. You just click on the Add to Chrome button and it pops a little plugin in, which you'll see in the top right here. Uh, I haven't paid for Pro yet. By the way, this is not an endorsed video. I'm just saying this is pretty cool and it's a good time saver. It, it produces really good documentation. So I'm going to show you how it works and what I do. Now, I'm going to create this video uh, with you guys today to show you how we do this. Um, normally, what I'd also do is set up uh, the recording so that whilst I'm doing the documentation, I also get a screen recording so people can, can digest that help document any which way they want, i.e. they can uh, read the steps or they can watch the video that goes along the same process. Okay. So what I'm going to do is show you how that works in uh, our system. I'm going to actually give a real example here of a customer who wants to know how to change uh, some information in our portal. So I'm going to open Tango and click on uh, Capture Workflow. And as you can see, it says Capture Started. Now down on the left-hand side here, I can click on Complete. I can pause it if I get distracted. I need to go do something else. I can restart, so if I screw it up, I can start over again. Uh, I can update to blur, um, blur stuff, and then I can uh, move right. I'm not quite sure what that does yet, but we'll see. So um, here we go. Now, uh, the first step in this particular process is to click on the domains box. And then what we're going to do is over on the right here, we're going to click on manage name servers. Uh, we could also click on that, we could click on that. But what we're actually going to do is click on manage name servers. And by opening that up, we can then change uh, the name servers to what they need to be. Okay, so obviously once those have been updated and you can see the, uh, the highlight box, this orange box is what Tango is using to track where I'm clicking and what I'm doing. So I'm gonna click on change name servers and that makes those name servers get updated. Now, um, obviously, obviously there's an issue here, but that's the, the principle. Now, when I'm done with Tango, what I do is tick this box to say complete and it creates my workflow. Now, the first thing I can do is change the title. So this is update name servers in my 6.5. Okay, so I can uh, change the title so I can keep that for later. Um, now, uh, this first one here didn't quite work out. So what I'm gonna do is say, uh, log into my 6.5. Now, all I'm doing here is I'm just changing the uh, documentation um, that is uh, kind of connected, right? Um, now this gives a link to the page, so it's actually recorded the URL that I'm on, which is awesome. Uh, over on the right, I can duplicate and delete it as well. But as you can see, what it's done is it's actually taken screenshots as we've been going through. Now, sometimes it picks up on, you know, not the right kind of information that you want uh, to see. So I'm just gonna update that. Instead of five, I'm gonna click on domains. And then as we uh, scroll down, again, it says click on row. So actually what we wanted to say here is click on uh, down arrow to reveal submenu. Actually, let's, let's call it domain options, right? That's a nice way of doing this. And then as we move down, we can then say click on manage name service. So you see it's picked that one up and that one's perfect already. And then uh, we can then uh, kind of point out that we need to then change those items as they need to be. I'm gonna delete this one down here because actually that wasn't part of the, uh, the process there. I just had to go and find that information. Uh, so uh, I'll do that. And then as we see here, you know, this one's obviously taken in the specifics of what I've typed in. So I don't need to do that. I'm gonna delete that one. And then I'm gonna change this one to say, repeat for other name servers as necessary. Okay, and that means obviously, I'm gonna to say to the user, you, you can do this as many uh, times as you need. And then click on change name servers. I'm gonna put that in quotes because that's actually a button. All right, and there we go, we're done, right? So that's how that works. Now, 
the cool thing here is that I can take this document and I can put it into our help system. So I'm going to click share and export and you can do a few things. The first one is you can add an email address and actually send it to someone so they can then obviously just click on the link um, and see it. Let's actually take that link and paste it in here and you can see what it looks like. So there you go, the person will see this uh, exact same thing as we've got. And the one of the good things about this, obviously, is we can make changes to that. And as soon as we do, it'll update on that link. Another cool, and this is where my favorite bit is, is you can copy it to clipboard. Now, if you copy it to a clipboard and you paste it into Google Docs, so let's do that. What makes this really attractive is once I paste that into Google Docs, okay, all those images will get imported for me. Uh, obviously, I can then share that perhaps as a PDF, right? So I've instantly got all that stuff in a PDF. So I'll just um, get rid of that one. You can also do it in Markdown. Now, Markdown is quite interesting because a lot of systems like uh, you know GitHub or a documentation system actually use Markdown. Um, and that's just a special way of defining format on documents, especially help documents. Uh, so I won't use that right now. And again, we just did the copy link. And then of course you can download it straight into a PDF, right? So if you, if you pay for Tango Pro, you can do some other stuff with it, like put your own logo into it and so forth too. So what I'm gonna do is just copy it to clipboard and then I'm gonna swap over to our help desk system and I'll show you what that looks like there. Okay, so back over in our knowledge base editor for our system, I've created uh, a new one called how to change my domain service, name service. And I can quite simply click in this box and click paste, all right? And that will bring in everything that we've got. Um, one thing here to note is that those images will still be hosted by Tango. Um, so you might need or want to uh, alter that and actually copy those images in yourself. Um, what I'll do to this one is actually just tweak it a little bit. I'll um, fix up the documentation and the vernacular and stuff around it. Um, I'll also make everything probably a paragraph. So I'm just going to do that and then we'll come back and finish this up. All right, so I've done some tweaking on this knowledge base article, added a bit of intro text, and then I just changed all of the uh, bits and pieces down into kind of P so that they're not you know, big, bold capitals. And again, the user can kind of then just follow this through and see what they need uh, to do and how to do it. On the uh, public side, uh, that knowledge base article now looks like this. So I've now got steps. I can log into my 6.5, click on domains. And again, you can see all those images and they follow through. So, you know, things to look out for here. Obviously, we're on a free plan at the moment. It says made with tango.us. Clearly, once we upgrade, that will disappear uh, and those will be images that uh, uh, they'll be customized or they won't have that tag on them. Um, the other thing is that the images are not owned by us, right? So at the moment, if Tango were to disappear one day, those images uh, would probably also disappear too. So you might want to look at saving those images to your computer and then replacing them into your system uh, using Tango, uh, using your own hosting. So obviously you have complete control of them. That's just me and my hit by a bus test. I like to make sure that we have complete control over everything that we use. Um, obviously relying on a third party, you have to, uh, sometimes you have no, no choice in that reliance. Um, but in this case you do, and you can probably import those images and look after them yourselves. So there you go, really cool tool, really useful, um, great way of showing people the steps to actually do things and get stuff done. Um, and uh, I, work, I recommend you check it out. Thanks very much for watching. If this video was useful, please don't hesitate to like and subscribe below. And we'll see you in the next one.